after Notre Dame's 82-56 victory over Alabama A&M, the last non-conference game of the year before you run that gauntlet of remaining ACC games. Did you see what you wanted to see today? You know, uh, I, I just, uh, I love, we, we pass the ball better than any team in the country, and, and, and I, I really appreciate it every time I watch them in practice. And 23 assists, only nine turnovers, you know, that, that's always going to give us a chance. We're going to have to make some shots over the top as we get back into league play Saturday. But, you know, we moved the ball and we played the right way. We played the right way and got to continue to do that. And um, we got a couple days to get ready for the real bullets because here they come. <laughs> well, Coach, you talked about sharing the ball, certainly. But in the second half, you really shot it well from behind the arc. 10 of 21, had a couple there from Prentice, a couple there from Gibbs. Seemed like guys were sharing the ball, like you said, but stepping up and taking shots with confidence yeah, as well. Yeah, and I think, you know, if, if we don't shoot it well in the first half, we can't stop taking them because the law of averages says, you know, we're going we're gonna to make some. Now, we have made, think about this, in the last three games in this building, we have made 48 three-point shots, you know. Now, I'd like to take some of this on the road. We've not been able to take it on the road, and we get to try that Saturday and Wednesday. But I love the fact that we feel good about firing in here, and there's a little bit of an identity, you know, offensively here. Certainly hoping that Jawan Durham is okay because he had 11 points and five rebounds in this game with five block shots. But, Mike, he looked as confident with the basketball yeah. today as I've ever seen him, which really made him very difficult to guard offensively. Well, I, I think he's going to be fine. I don't think we have anything major there. It was just a little bit of a strain, and he was scared, so we just held him out. But I agree with you. I, I, I think throwing the ball into him is becoming a part of our offense and letting him go to work and maybe get fouled or score. He's a very good passer, too. And, and so I think that is a part that I think is evolving, you know, a, as he evolves. But he, he's a really a, a key for us, and, and I'm glad we don't have anything major <laughs> on that. Nick just tweaked an ankle a little bit. He'll be, he'll be fine because we need all hands on deck. Yes, you do. <laughs> well, Coach, another guy we've been talking about the last couple of games or so, Dane Goodwin, coming off the bench again, double-digit points. What can you say to his consistency over this stretch? Well, he's a key for us. You know, he, he, we, he's been aggressive now for the last couple games. I think he really feels comfortable. We try and run some stuff to get him open and screen for him, and his teammates did a good job finding him and screening for him, you know, to get him open a little bit, and we got to continue, you know, to do that. But he needs to come off firing, and, and so does Nate. You know, Nate really gave us good defense, and he rebounds, and – He's going to have nights where he rings them up from deep and uh, to help us there. We talked in pregame, the seniors are the seniors. You know what to expect from them. TJ led you in scoring today with 17. He needs to score a few every game. But my goodness, John Mooney, three block shots, two assists. He had 16 points. But you've had a lot of good rebounders since you got here. I don't know if you've yeah. ever had a better one. 18 rebounds in this game, second in the country. Literally, he's a rebounding machine. Really a machine, and, and you know, how he goes and gets it fundamentally with two hands. You know, that's, you would, you know, you would teach all young players to rebound like John Mooney. Now, not all young players have John Mooney's legs <laughs> <laughs> and, and timing. But, um, you know, he, he does it every night. He does it every day in practice. I wanted to get him out of the game the last five minutes, but I didn't have anybody else to put in, <laughs> you know, because we're going to have to keep him rested in between games because it's just a physical drain. But uh, uh, I, I'm very proud of the player he's become because the first two years there were hints of it, but nobody would have said yeah. a double-double machine for his junior and senior year. I'm proud of who he's become. All right, no school this week, so no you school. got the week to get ready yeah. for that uh, second part of the schedule, ACC schedule opener, and an always difficult place to play, Syracuse, on Saturday. Well, I just talked to our guys a little bit about getting back into league play in the Carrier Dome two years ago. We had a great win in, in maybe one of the ugly games in the history of college basketball, where Rex Fluger yes. runs 50 feet and tips in TJ's layup to get a league win, and, you know, we just you know, mucked it up a little bit to get it. And, and, you know, us on the road, we've been in some tough road atmospheres. We should not be, you know, we played at North Carolina, we played at Maryland, and we played Indiana pretty much, you know, might as well been in Bloomington. 
And, and, you know, so we shouldn't be shocked by road atmospheres, but we've yet to get one in that. And, and so we've got that one Saturday. And then in yeah. NC State on Wednesday, they're playing really well. But we come back next time we see our fans, we could have the number one team in the country in here in Louisville. Is that the, that's the, yes, third, yeah, that that's, is the, the that's the next home game. And you have a little history with them. We have had some unbelievable, you know, when I run into Louisville fans, because there's a recruiting event down there, all they want to talk about is our games, the overtimes, <laughs> this, that, you know, and, and so it's, uh, it's been neat. So anyways, uh, um, back to league play, but what a challenge. 18 more, we got 18 games in the toughest league in America, and, and we're going to have to scratch and fight to do it, and I'm excited to do it with this group. I love this group. Mike, thank, thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to all our fans. Happy New Year.